welcome back to another Stardew Valley mod tutorial and review. Well, I guess it'll be review and then tutorial. Yeah, flip that. Hello, everybody. Welcome. And we're going to be doing a review and then a tutorial on actually two Stardew Valley mods today. These mods actually work together very nicely. And it is called the Medieval Buildings. And then the way back Pelican Town that's actually in alpha right now. Both of these mods are completely free and you can download them on Nexus Mods. And I will show you how to download those and where. And then the links will also be down in the description below. So, let's get started. Okay, so the medieval buildings is just a cosmetic change. Nothing of the characters or the gameplay changes. It's extremely 100% just aesthetic. Um... But the medieval buildings is only for the buildings on the farm. And that is why there is a two-part mod. So the medieval buildings at Stardew Valley is a mod for the farm. And then the Wayback Pelican Town Alpha is for the town and the buildings that surround it. So if you just want the farm aesthetic, that's completely fine. But if you do want to add on to the building aesthetic, you can do that as well. And I'll show you how to do that both. But let's go ahead and jump in and look at the changes that we have so all right so um i'll so this is the building that i chose in the script um for my medieval um for my medieval building um nothing on the in oh, nothing on the inside changed strictly just the outside and you can see that instead of a mailbox now i have like a little carrier pigeon and then this is the shipping box. But yeah, so since this is a brand new farm, we don't have any of the other buildings on the farm. However, I will go and show you the images of those at the end of this video. So again, the plants don't change. Um, nothing really else changes except for again, the cosmetic pack. So here are the buildings that are included in the Wayback Pelican Town Alpha. So it fits the aesthetic of your farm buildings. And let's go ahead and just walk around town. So again, just to show you, nothing on the inside changes. Everybody is still the same. Except that you just get a nice little, just a nice little peek. So here's like Alex's home, um, pennies and Pam's, Mayor Lewis's. If we go down to the beach, we see that the bridge has changed, as well as Elliot Shack. And I actually don't know if this changes. Ooh, it does. That looks really nice. That looks really nice. Okay. So I've actually played with this mod on my stream. Um, we are currently doing two Stardew Valley playthroughs. We are doing one on Wednesday nights with a group of other streamers. And I'm doing a solo run that it's gonna be heavily modded. So if you wanna see more of the mods, go ahead and follow my Twitch page and you'll get notified every time that I go live and you'll be able to see the mods in action. But here's the library. Here's in the summer where they sell their um, ice cream. Gus's blacksmith. Not Gus. Clint. Clint's blacksmith. Over here is Joja Mart. Very, very, very medieval. With the flag and everything. So let's go ahead and look at the community center. The door will be locked, but again, the inside does not change. So this is now the outside of the community center, which looks gorgeous. Um, the author and the creator of this mod did a great job at keeping the elements of the game so that pixelated art looking beautiful and just transitioning, I think, perfectly to the game. So here's Robin's place. Let's look at the Adventurer's Guild. I'm not for sure if the Adventurer's Guild has... Uh, 
Uh, yeah, no, we're not going to the Avengers Guild. That's okay, though. <laughs> so we're going to get Linus's place now. So instead of a tent, he lives in the shack. So yeah. So let's go ahead and go down to the farm of Marnie's and Leah's. And I'm either... So I actually lied. We're not going to go to Marnie's and Leah's just yet. I forgot to show you the left side of the town um, of the main central pelican town so here is like Haley and emily's house the sewer down here then here is sam's and jody's home all right now we're gonna go to marnie's and leah's part of the land all righty so here are the cosmetic changes to their home so here's leah's house we're going to go up and see Marnie's. Very beautiful and white. Uh, that actually is very pleasing to the eye. <laughs> Alrighty, and now we're going to go over to the Wizard's Tower. Oh, there's little Jasmine. Hi, Jasmine. Bum -dum -bum. So here's the wizard's tower, making sure it's in frame. Yeah, it is awesome. So here's the wizard's tower. It looks like a rickety old um, watchtower like it always has, but with a nice cosmetic wrap on it. So now that we are back home, let's go check the um, unfinished greenhouse and our grandfather's um, memorial site. And then after that, we will go ahead and get down to more of the images of the different kinds of buildings you can have with the Medieval Buildings mod. So, let's get... So here is the unfinished greenhouse. You can tell it's gonna be a nice um, cream white brick collar. Then over here, if we can make it, oh, of course. Let me just um, ax some things away. And with that anticlimactic beginning, there's no change to Grandpa's uh, memorial site, which is completely fine because both of these mods um, flow together very nice in order to make a, a really fluid design. So without further ado, let me go ahead and pull up some of the medieval buildings at Stardew Valley images so we can see some of the other options that we would have um, with a more advanced farm. So our chicken coops, our silos, our barns, our stables, um, slime hutches, literally everything else that we can put on our farm later on um, in mid to late game. And then I will show you how to go into your script and how to change the different um, texture packs. And I know that sounds scary. You do not need a programming degree to change your script. Um, we are going to get it together. So <laughs> I'll see you then. Alrighty, so here is the Nexus Mod website. So first off is going to, the, is going to be the Medieval Buildings at Stardew Valley by, let's see, Gwen. We're going we're gonna to say Gwen, but here's the name right here. It's like um, Gwenizek. Gwenizek. Anyway, so let's go ahead and look at some of the images. And the images will show us how it looks in different seasons, different color, texture packs. So, all right. So the first one is the buildings in the snow. It looks like that this is, will be our chicken coop. And this over here would be the barn. It looks like over here we have another season fall of our silo. No, that looks like a mill, doesn't it? A mill, um, chicken coop, Ch no. Hang on. These look like co-op houses. Co-op houses. Um, a sundial ponds which look very nice 
barns. Different sizes of barns. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Don't know what that is. Maybe that's something that I haven't gotten to in the game yet. Interesting. Okay. Um, here's the stable, tractor shed, some more images, so on and so forth. Alrighty, so here is the nitty gritty of the script. Um, this is going to show you what the clean flowers and so on and so forth looks like. So up here, making sure it's nice and big on the screen. So up here is going to be the retextured pack. So here is going to be your clean and then the flowers over. You'll be able to see what the flowers versus the clean looks like on all different types of buildings. So if you're a fan of this pack, but you don't want all those flowers, there is a clean option. And then so on and so forth, you'll be able to see it throughout. And then here's the greenhouse options. So um, you'll be able to see option one, two, and three. I, I don't know why I'm pointing to the screen. You can't see the screen. So one, two, and three. Ooh. There we go. And then I'll show you in the script that if you would like a more of a circular dome, I wish I could get a more like picture of down here for that maybe nope that did not work oh there it goes so here is all of them so one two and three with flowers and without which it looks like that they both have an equal amount of flowers except for the tops the tops don't as much Alrighty, so here is the shipping container. So we have four options actually. So one, two, and three, four. One's going to be your moss cover, trellis, steel, and then flowers. And then the default is going to be the trellis, moss, flowers, and the examples. So it's going to be steel flowers. So you would pick like a steel frame. And then if you wanted flowers, and so on and so forth. All right, so it looks like that these are going to be our stable options. So we have the clean one through four and the flowers one through four. And these look like stables as well. Nope, tractor, tractor shed clean without one through three um these look like chicken coops i'm trying to get close to see Alrighty, so these are the different cabins for the multiplayer mode so you would have your roof well what, what, what kind of roof you want and what kind of mail carrier you would like then it looks like these are also the different houses you can have um, as your home. And then it shows you the different upgrades. So first upgrade, second upgrade, third upgrade. Alrighty, and then here it's going to be our mill. So we have three options for our mill. And then, of course, we have clean or flowers. And of course, when, whenever you see these four, I should have said this at the beginning, it shows you what season. So like the first is going to be spring, summer, fall, and winter on both. All right, here's some light posts. Um, looks like these are a barn. And these might... That's the chicken coop. That's the barn. Um, slime hutches? I don't know. Is it, it doesn't say. I wish that these had more of a, 
more of a like actual what am I trying to say my brain just kind of went out the window there I wish that these had more descriptors like oh this is what this cosmetic pack is and okay Alrighty, here's your well. I do know this. Your well and your um, ponds. <laughs> or is it just wells? These all might just be wells. So we have three different, um, three different options for wells. And then the fish pond. Oh, okay. That, that one actually says fish option. Fish pond option. So we have three options and goodness. Tons of options within those. I wonder how we would default that. I guess it will show us. Um, mm, Earth. Oh. Earth options. These are going to be our sundials, our clocks, and our pinches, benches, and extra paths. And then this is Medieval Buildings by Gwen. And I believe that that is the beginning of this slideshow. So before I go on to the way back Pelican Town Alpha, let me go ahead and pull up the script and show you some ways that we can change it. Okay, so if you don't know where your mod folder is, that's perfectly fine. The easiest way that I figured how to do this is whenever you download your mods through either Nexus Mod, Vortex, or wherever you put your mods at. Um, I personally like Nexus Mods the most just because I can go straight to the mod folder and say if I'm wanting, let's see, what the medieval buildings mod, we can right click and we can go, we can open and file manager. And then we will actually see where that file is stored. Oh, let me put this down a little. So the file for me is stored in mods, medieval buildings. So then we can click on this. And it actually, ooh, these are actually a lot better descriptions. So we have barn and roof options, um, cabin roof, cabin mail, um, coop option, coop roof, um, earth option, fish option, clock options, greenhouse, um, a Jumino area, light post, mail, mill, Oh, this is actually Shane's Coop. Shane's, Shane's Kitchen. Shane's Coop for if you marry him, he gets his own coop. Okay, awesome. Thank goodness for these little descriptors. Um, this is the shed option, shed roof, um, shipping bins, silos. These are the silos. And these are the slime hutches. So that's actually kind of cool, not going to lie. Um, stable options, well options, and that is it. So, I'm going to put this on this side. Oop, you're going to see all my tabs that are open. It's okay. Alrighty. So, here's the assets. Let's do, okay. So we are actually going to tap on config and then you will, sh and you should get this op, this notepad. So, oh, you can kind of, yeah, that's good. All right. So, and you'll see this notepad that pops up. So the easiest way that I figured, um, to do all this, so let's go to the very beginning of these images. All right, so the buildings that are replaced, it's gonna be your barn, coop, um, the desert earth, fish, clock, um, greenhouse, house, island, Jumino, log cabin, mill, clake, and then so on and so forth. So the roof options, it should coincide with with the images, if if not, I'll push this down a little. You'll be able to see the f the photo options. Like so, this is the barn. So, Oop. so we're gonna try to find the 
barn option. If there's no barn option, it's probably going to be the house roof. So we can do flowers or clean. For this sake, let's do clean. We're going to keep everything in parentheses in the, common, in the comma. All that we're going to delete is the actual words. So we're going to delete the words and just type in clean. So that means that now our roof, our house roof, will no longer have these flowers. They will now be clean. So, so on and so forth. Um, we can do greenhouse option. So let's go over to our greenhouse image. So this is our greenhouse image. So we get to choose from one, two, or three. So let's go ahead and pick I personally like number two, so we're going to delete just the just, just the number and put two. So the greenhouse roof, we can see that it's going to be either flowers or clean. And then say if I want to keep it flowers, I just leave it. So and then this is what you're going to do for each line. So say if you want to keep all of these and say if you're actually like, hmm, I don't like the mill option. So we're gonna go back to our photos and look for the mill. So here's our mill. So we have three choices of the mill. And we're going to just delete the number. Say if we want number three. We want three and we want clean. And that is it. But make sure you always save. You always save it because if you don't save it, then all the changes that you have just done to the script will, will, will not carry on to your game. So let's actually change some things that are going to be pretty noticeable in our game and we can go back to the game and make sure that the changes took. So right now we only have our house, which we changed to clean, and our greenhouse um, shell. So our greenhouse shell should be a circle. And then let us actually change our shipping container. So here's the change of the shipping container. This one's actually going to be a pretty long script. So we're going to so we're going to follow their we're going to actually follow their example we're not going to change it really much any but we're going to change our shipping container to two okay so over here is actually where it's going to get a little bit more complicated so the default is going to be the trellis which is going to be the four overlays moss and flowers or if you don't want the moss, we can just delete the moss. And if we don't want the flowers, we can put clean. So let's actually just change the first one. And let's do still. Let's do still flowers. Yep, I think that is good. Let us see if there's any other thing that we can change. Hmm. Let's actually change, let me blow up this picture a little. Let's actually change the type of mailbox that we have. That way we can easily see if it changed or not. So let's actually do three. So that is just called mail option. So we're gonna find mail option over here, mail option, and we're gonna just do three. And then we're going to make sure that we save. So from there, we are going to take, just exit out of these. And now we're back at our Nexus. So what I usually like to do, even though we didn't um, do anything much, is that I like to go ahead and try to deploy mods again and make sure that nothing's array. But since I didn't, uh-oh, and we modded while the game was open, we're actually going to see if it took... But yeah, let's go ahead. Oh, the game's not running. I don't know why it's... Anyway, so we're gonna dashboard. I always um, run the game through um, Smappy. And then this will just tell me if any of my code has been wrong. 
Um, so if I see any excessive red lines, that means that something in my mod folder is incorrect and that we need to revisit it. But it looks like that I can actually update one, two of my mods, which I'll do that later. And if you guys want to see how I update mods, how I download mods, um, just let me know and I will make that a video. Okay, so we are back in our um, mod test farm. So let's go ahead and look around. So great news, it looks like that our mod has actually, our script um, changes has actually taken. So here is our new, um, our new mailbox. Excuse me. And then also here is our roof with no flowers. So let's go over to our greenhouse and make sure that mod took. And there we did it. Beautiful, perfect. So that script change has changed, has successfully transferred over as well. So that, so that means that our entire um, folder has been successful and that we are good to go. But always remember that, that if you do mess up on it, it is going to be easy to fix. You would just go back into your con your config folder and just change it again. But if you completely change it and you don't know how to restart, just go ahead and un just uninstall the mod and reinstall it so you have the default folder again. So let's go ahead and look at the um, complementary mod to this. So here is Wayback Pelican Town Alpha, and it's also made by Gwen. I should have double checked that before I started this video, but that is why it looks flawless. It looks great together because they were made by the same person. So let's go ahead and look at the images. So this is what ours looked like because we did not have the recaller mod. So this is what ours looked like. But however, if you wanted to download the Stardew foliage redone mod, this is what it would look like. Um, the aesthetic is, I feel like it's more pleasing to the eye, especially with the cosmetic wraps. Um, it looks like it's actually a part of the game instead of the bright yellow and green, and it looks more muted, more cozy. And then it's just going to show us the um, Stardew Foyage redone mod in all aspects of the island. So here we go. And then we also see what the Adventurers Guild will look like because sadly we weren't able to get behind the rock. But yeah, there's that. And then Way Back Pelican Town by Gwen once again. So this mod actually doesn't have um, any of the script um, changes that we have to make. So everything is what you see it is. So it's not as customizable, but it's still beautiful. It's still beautifully done. And it is a great cosmetic wrap um, and mod for your gameplay. And again, this does not change your gameplay. It doesn't add anything. It doesn't take away. Um, it's the same story of Stardew Valley, just with a different look and feel. But yeah, that is it for this mod review. Once again, we actually reviewed two mods by Gwen. And that is your medieval buildings and the way back um, Pelican Town mod and again those links will be in the description below um, but yeah I hope you guys enjoy this mod review if you'd like to see any other mods please tell me in the comments below um, I will say though that I did do a mod review a couple months ago of the diverse Stardew Valley mod unfortunately that is no longer available on Nexus mod but I'm going to keep the video up just because I know that people still have that mod downloaded like I do and have not uninstalled it so i'll keep that mod up for those who are wanting to um who are wanting to make those changes and need a point of reference i'm hoping that they are going to re-upload that mod sometime soon because that was actually one of my favorite character um, portrait changes uh, mods that have been out but yeah I hope you guys have a great morning, um, evening, afternoon, wherever you are in the world.